Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Manny, in case you're new here, or welcome back. Today we are starting the vlog off with a grocery haul, as I usually do. I wanna show you something though, I'm buying a gift, a little thank you gift for someone, and look at what I found in the grocery store. This little giraffe succulent holder with the little succulent inside. I think it's perfect for like, your desk at work, which is kind of like my thought with buying this for someone else. It's so adorable in the gold. It's just so pretty. So wanted to share that. I feel bad like making him suffocate. I'm gonna put him on the window ledge for now. Okay, let's get into the real grocery haul for this week. I do need quite a bit of random stuff. So I bought a lot. First off is a carton of eggs, white, medium size. This week I literally dropped an egg on the floor and it cracked all over and it was not great. I am really excited for groceries now because it is summertime and that means summertime fruit. I got this last week as well, some watermelon, delicious. I prefer the pre-cut ones because I don't know how to cut a watermelon myself. So we can do, we can just buy the cut ones. Even though they're a little more expensive, it's fine. I also got some butter lettuce because it was on sale this week and a pint of raspberries. In terms of other produce, oh my goodness, there's so much. I have one zucchini. I've never cooked a zucchini, but I thought it'd be perfect to throw into pasta. A bell pepper. I only bought one this week. I'm really scared that there's going to be bugs inside because I remember one time there was bugs inside and it was really scary. I also got the brown mushrooms that I always get, a head of broccoli and also some, uh, one tomato. I don't eat an onion this week, I didn't finish mine. Then we got three avocados because they were on sale with three in a group of three. Which one is the ripest? Next up I bought something fun because I thought it'd be fun to eat this long weekend. I bought some poke. It's uh, ahi poke, which I love ahi. And then also some imitation crab. I remember last year, last summer, when I went on a trip to Kelowna with my friends, we made our own poke bowls and it was so good and so fun to make. And I have cucumber, I have salmon, the poke rice, everything. So it'll be so much fun. Speaking of cucumbers for snack and also for my poke bowls, I got a little flatbread. I realized I must have some sort of really easy freeze freezer meal because there's one day of the week for sure that I don't want to cook and I need to have something in stock. To add on to my little thank you gift, I bought two little chocolate bars, one dark and one milk. I don't really know. I feel like adults like dark, but sometimes people like milk, like me. Okay, in terms of pantry staples, I got some extra virgin olive oil. I got another bag of coffee beans. This is the Pike Place Roast with notes of cocoa and rich praline. Some bow tie pasta because I needed a small pasta shape. And one carton of almond milk. I've realized this is my favorite. I can't do oat milk. I don't like other brands. I only like this one, but this one was on sale. So I only bought one carton for this week. Last but not least, a pack of chicken thighs with skin on. I've realized skin on is the way to go. That's my grocery haul for this week. Pretty big, pretty hefty. Let's put some groceries away. And then we'll continue on our weekend. It's already Saturday noon, which is crazy, but thank goodness there's three days of this weekend. Also, just a more personal update. My last vlog I actually filmed two weeks ago. I skipped a week because my hard drive was out of memory last week. But last week I was talking about how I felt after my breakup and how I was really doing. Today I will also update you just a little bit. This morning I had a counseling session with my counselor and I decided to delve deep into the breakup and all of the thoughts about it. And it was definitely very heavy. We did not finish everything I wanted to talk about in that one hour. One hour is just too short, but I am feeling very mellowy and jelloy because I feel like I'm very vulnerable right now after having like talked about all my feelings for the last little bit in the morning. So. That's kind of how I'm doing. It ebbs and it flows. And yeah, let's put some groceries away. Staring out the window, reaching for a North Star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back. This is the brand 
brand of oil that I use right now. It's avocado oil. It's bougie because I've seen this at Whole Foods, but I got it at Costco. So that's why I have it. And I wanted to try avocado oil, but I'm going to be one of those aesthetic TikTok girlies that refills their containers. It's literally only this container, but we do our best here. Not perfectly full but I can't add it with the other oil because that one's olive oil there it goes you already know I gotta give you a book update from the last two weeks I guess because I haven't vlogged and didn't vlog last week I have been reading a lot so let's talk about the books that I have finished recently starting off with rich people problems I borrowed this and I finished it in the span of 24 hours, even though it's so freaking thick. It was just so good. I, it's definitely like the ending to the trilogy, but I really enjoyed it and love, love Kevin Kwan's writing as always. I've raved about this series so many times already. Next up, I read The Defining Decade by Meg J. So this one is very famous and a lot of people have talked about it. So I was like, I kind of want to hear and read about what it is in this book because obviously I'm in my 20s. If you don't know, the book is about what you should do in your 20s and how you can, what you should do with your life. It was published a while ago. Let me double check the date that it was published. 2012. So I will say it is a little bit behind in the times and that is totally fine but I didn't love the advice in this book. I feel like it was very catered towards making you into one type of adult which is very different now and now in this day and age obviously given COVID and everything that's happened in the last 10 years since this book has been published like there's a lot of different ways you can take your life and I feel like this advice in this book kind of only while I do think some of it is valid kind of builds you to be a type of person that would have been successful 10 years ago whereas nowadays everyone's redefining success redefining what it what life means what we should be doing with our lives so while I did appreciate some little nuggets I didn't think all in all this book was that great but you can give it a read if you like. The last book that I just finished yesterday at work is called The Almost Widow by Gail Anderson Dargatz. I didn't even know that she's from British Columbia, so I loved that I was supporting a Canadian and local author. I did actually really enjoy this. I think I found this in a Haley Fam video and I could not put it down. There was one night I was reading this and it was a work night and I was like, oh, I should really be going to bed, but I just couldn't stop reading. And I finished it in like, I finished this book in like three days, which is crazy again, but I really liked it. I did not expect the twist, but I kind of did as I kept reading. So it was a good ending. I liked it a lot and I would definitely recommend this one. Now I am currently reading two books. One of them's not really a book. One of them is the new Single On Purpose workbook, which is by John Kim, and I raved about his book called Single On Purpose. I found this in the library, like coincidentally, I didn't even know he released this, but basically it's like an everyday guide. There's a mantra, there's a reflection exercise, and it's just kind of continuing on with the energy of the book, and I really appreciate having a little journal prompts. So I've been loving doing this with my journal every single morning. And then right now I am reading a nonfiction and it's called The Power of Podcasting. Obviously because I have a podcast, I was drawn to the cover and just how beautiful this book is, but also because I have a podcast. And it definitely has got me thinking. I don't think my podcast kind of falls into the realm of what this book is going for, but it has definitely challenged me and made me think about ways that I can improve my podcast and where I want to take it creatively because that's been something that I've been thinking about, you know, along with figuring out what I want and myself out. So I've been reading that. It's very thick though. But yeah, that is my reading update. I'm going to eat some lunch and then we have to film my podcast, which I actually have not even planned yet. So I need to think about that. And yeah, I'll keep you updated on what I do today.
Okay, we're going on a bit of a new adventure today. I bet my camera is super crooked, but I can't fix it now because I am driving. We are going to a Vancouver event called the Eastside Flea, and basically it is a flea market that hosts a bunch of vendors, and it's on every single weekend until I think mid-June in Vancouver, and I have been following this event for some time on Instagram, but I just like couldn't get up the courage to go by myself because I'm pretty good at doing things by myself if they're not publicly hosted events if you know what I mean like I'm fine with doing grocery shopping myself or stuff like that but like actually going to events by myself I find a little bit of trouble with but I decided that you know what like I don't want to miss this opportunity even if it's not what I expect and maybe it's not up to my expectations I honestly have no, no expectations anyway I still want to go and check it out because this has been on my bucket list for some time and I also love like vintage shopping and stuff. It, I haven't done it in a while but it is something I do really enjoy. So we are going to do that today. So it's a bit of a drive. I have about half an hour to get there so I'm going to do some carpool karaoke and I'll see you when we get there. My arms dancing to the limbo. Stuck here in the mid I made it and parking was fine. I'm just a little nervous, even though I know no one's gonna judge me. I still feel nervous. back in the car I just came back from the flea market the east side flea and I'm gonna show you what I got I don't know why I was so nervous it literally was fine and I even saw two of my high school friends there one of them was putting on a booth and the other one was just there for funsies let me show you what I got though let me drink some water I am dehydrated Okay, so first of all, I went to one of my friend's booths, and as I said, she was having a booth, and actually all of the proceeds were going to charity, so I bought a little soy candle, and they have little rose petals in it, which I think is so cute. It's unscented, but I think it is so adorable, and then also a little vinyl sticker. It just says, Save BC's Old Growth Forests. Her booth was all by donation, so it wasn't like a set price, and you could just donate what you can, so I donated $15 for for these two together. Then I went to a little jewelry booth and honestly what gets me the most is jewelry at these kind of little vintage shops because I just think all of the jewelry makers have such unique pieces and they're so beautiful so I literally cannot help myself. So first of all, it, the booth is called Cactus Blue. I got this pair of dangly pearl earrings. They are literally so pretty. They're freshwater pearls and I'm definitely gonna wear this this week. And then I got a necklace as well. And the necklace is so pretty. I love the detail. It is also has pearls and little crystals. And it's just so, it's like a little choker. So I really like it. And I'm very happy with this. It's so cute. And I love the little pink detail. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, I'm so glad I went, even though I was a little bit scared. Obviously, there was nothing to worry about. It was so much fun, and everyone was so nice. I am going to head home, though. It is 3 o'clock, so I spent about an hour in there. But it was so much fun to see all the different booths and all that. Oh. Anyways, yes, I'm going to go home. I'm going to relax, make some dinner, and we're going to live our best life. 